What's up everyone, Alistair here, and I just want to bring you guys a quick recap of the AoE changes and a quick explanation for people who are maybe new to the game or haven't played a lot of these skills that are getting complained about and uh, don't really know what all the fuss is about and just want a quick clarification because there's a lot of information in this and trying to understand it all on your own might not be the simplest. So I'm going to just try and keep this as short as possible. TLDR about this, AoE everywhere got nerfed. So. What are the points that people are talking about? First off is something that people have varied uh, kind of, you know, opinions about. That would be the clear speed meta. Now, Flame Blast is a good example of these pre-post nerf where it's smaller, but it's not that smaller that you're going to lose that much clear speed, just a bit. So this could be a good change for the game, you know, try and slow everything down because everything has just been going too fast. However, you see it's still a substantial AOE decrease. But overall, people aren't that bothered about that, you know? It's like, okay, well, it's a nerf, but then again, everything got nerfed, and this is still quite playable. What people are getting annoyed about are essentially three things. The first is Melee Splash. Now, Melee Splash was announced as being buffed as part of the uh, improvements to uh, Melee skills that were essentially being underused. Um, it's a whole other long video, though, so I'm not going to go into that, but... Basically, it was promised to be, buff, to be buffed, as you can see, it was going to go all the way to here. And then, essentially, they pre-nerfed it to put it in line with everything else, which is now getting nerfed. So, while it does kind of go along with what they said, which is we just want to put this in line with other AoE skills, it's kind of annoyed a lot of people that were hoping the melee splash would get buffed enough to you know, try and make it viable, because right now Melee Splash is just an added gem that you're forced to stick on skills that are not viable to make it out of viable. It's it's kind of, it's getting mixed feelings about that, like a lot of people are, are pissed off, but it does kind of go with what GGG said, so I'm not sure if we're supposed to be angry or not, but whatever. One thing that, however, I do find is really bad, and both of the community is agreeing on that, is Reeve. Now, Reeve was pretty much destroyed Dispatch, as you can see, the AoE used to go to here, uh, I mean, used to go to here with Val Reeve, now it goes to here with Val Reeve, which is pretty much what it used to be, um, that Reeve. For new players, basically, Reeve, you get stacks, stacks increase the AoE, Val Reeve increase, allows you to get more stacks, uh, so you used to be able to hit this far, now you can hit this far at a maximum. So that's about half. Now, why are people that angry about this if they're not angry about, uh, say, you know, Flame Blast or whatever? Well, there's two reasons. First of all, the change is actually much worse because you're only hitting in a cone, so all, you're not also hitting behind you, meaning that now when you're hit, getting close to a pack and a pack takes about this size of the screen, if you're hitting Flame Blast, you just charge it up around them, boom, they die. Now here, you have to walk all the way up to them, try and hit them, and you're probably going to miss stragglers in the back, and then you have to go on there, and then you have to catch up each of the individual stragglers of the pack, whilst trying to maintaining stacks, meaning you might end up, like, in a corner, hitting a mob on its own, and blah blah blah. Anyway, basically, people, another reason, and the main reason that people are getting mad about this, is because Reeve wasn't that popular a skill anyway. I mean, it was okay, it was strong, if built correctly, but it was really just a shittier version of, like, you know, Blade Flurry. So, sure, Blade Flurry is getting nerfed, but then, if what you want is large AoE to kill everything, why not just play Earthquake? You can also get more damage and more survivability in general. So, Reeve just wasn't really in a great spot, and it's getting hit really hard. And on top of that, they're basically killing Val Reeve, because now Val Reeve just gives you about this much more AoE. So, people are still going to use it, because, you know, you want that extra bit. But it's gonna, a lot, some people just might not, because they're like, fuck it, you know, whatever, I'll just go more melee. And most people will just be like, fuck it, I'm just not gonna play Reeve at all anymore. So, a lot of people are kind of pissed off about that. Now, finally, last point, I'm trying to keep this as short as possible, I'm sorry, is um, all the changes, all the skills that were not mentioned in the modification. Because, basically, the whole concept is, well, if they're not mentioned, but the AoE changes still happen to them... So they don't get a base radius buff, but all the radius from the tree and passives no longer increase them as much, then they're all going to be tiny. And as you can see, there is a lot of skills listed in here. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them, but yeah, basically a lot of people are getting kind of mad about how much all of this is just no longer going to be, you know, strong. Like, look, just... A vortex that's completely maxed out is not going to be this large. You're not going to kill anything with that. I mean, sure, you'll... I mean, no, not even, because that's not even with Conquivect or anything. So it's not even useful for bosses. This is, this is 
This is your pack clearing vortex. That's tiny. Now, this is one additional thing, though, however, that I also isn't mentioned in this, which I kind of surprised. I mean, I guess it's normal that it hasn't seen that much. Um, that's auras and curses, notably blasphemy. I'm surprised no one's been talking about blasphemy because blasphemy is used by a lot of builds, and this essentially means that it's way weaker as a defensive mechanic because you can't reliably curse mobs that are ranged from your position if you're also ranged as well as before. Meaning we might see curse on head return a lot more because characters that are ranged with their blasphemy aura will very often not reach the mobs before if there is indeed what is basically like a 40% effect loss upon the 2.6.0 launch. And the other thing is auras. Now this only really affects, you know, parties and aura bots. Two things, well, I guess parties even more that are rarely played and aura bots, a couple people play them, but you know, it's really that pretty rare because PoE is usually played as a single player experience. That's because party play really isn't optimized. And I mean, overall, it's technically a loss in every single aspect. You lose currency because you don't just get double for two people. You lose maps because you don't just get double for two people. So like, it's not, you know, the most efficient way to play. However, it's still fun to play with friends and some people like to play aura bots. Now, if aura bots lose 40% of their AoE, of all auras, playing in anything more than what is essentially a two-man party where the aura bot has to stick melee range with the other one, basically deletes those builds. Because now, if you're five people clearing a map, and you're never together when you're five people clearing a map, I mean, you're in the same area to try and share XP and whatnot, but you're never close, close together if you've run a five-man party. And you want to add, uh, and you want to go with an aura bot you know, like as a sixth. Well, why would you now? Because before, okay, the Aurobot would take all these AoE nodes and he would stand like more or less in the middle of all the five others and everyone would get covered. Now, he's gonna have to choose. Okay, well, there's maybe the two guys at the front that I can buff or maybe the ones at the back or maybe that one on the side, but that's it. You know, I'm not really gonna find a way to effectively get coverage of everyone. So that's something I found was really shitty because party play is already in a relatively bad spot and in my opinion, it needs a lot of buffs and love. Not buffs in power or anything, but just buffs in quality. Like, to me, auras should be much larger already than they are. Now they're getting even smaller. So that's actually a big hit. Um, this is also a sub-hit to summoners, right? Like uh, aura bots who would run SRS for damage and whatnot. Now when your SRS run off, as soon as they're kind of a bit far from you, you basically don't buff them anymore. So if you're killing a boss, you can't just like hide in the corner and summon SRS anymore. I mean, you can, but they'll be, you know, really weak. Now you have to actually walk up and be in range of all the boss's attacks to also be in range of your SRS. So anyway, uh, sorry this was long. I really tried to keep it as short as I could, but uh, there's a lot to say about this. And hopefully with this you understand why everyone on Reddit is complaining, what they're complaining about, and why also there's not complaints on literally every skill in the game. Because overall this change isn't necessarily a bad thing in a lot of aspects. But a couple things might have gotten hit too hard. As always, I'm Alistair, and I'll see you around.